Uh, my name is David Sudeby and I am the director of photography on The Ninth. My name is uh, Jeffrey Cork and I am a production assistant on The Ninth. I am Maddie Stiles and I am the costume designer for this fun show. I am Sean Goldberg, I am the still photographer on The Ninth. A, a director of photography helps uh, design the look and the feel of the show with the director and the producers. And the way we achieve the look and the feel of the show is picking the right camera tools and technology as well as uh, the lighting instruments. With the night uh, being a comedy, we didn't want to um, create a look that is typical of um, regular comedies or studio productions where you have an ensemble of cast on a set in a line that's fairly bright and high key. We wanted to combine the comedy with something a little more dramatic in uh, scope and look. So with that, we did a little bit more low key lighting and a little bit more dramatic lighting. Nothing too, um, nothing too bright and high key. I basically capture the film on my camera I try to recreate the framing that the cinematographer is doing, as well as behind the scenes shots. Wardrobe involves, uh, I guess the first step is the script and the characters and kind of in my head as a costume designer is like kind of coming up with, you know, you have a character for example, Messy Jesse, um, and you have to be like, who is this girl? And like really get into who she is and, and how would she think when she's putting her clothes on? and when she's picking things, um, just like we do with like all of them. So, and, and kind of keep them in a realm of, like how I like to do it is build them a little personal wardrobe, like you really would in real life. And then it kind of always has this feeling of that character and that person, and they kind of own their own style. So I create a style for a fictional person. Yeah, that's... Oh, and then after that, <laughs> I would shop for all the pieces. Um, and uh, put them together and then come up with looks for every episode and um, accessorize them with things that kind of work with the personality as well. For instance, we have Sad Andy and she always has her toque, uh, Chip with his cross necklace. Those little detail-y things just help to, to kind of create that character's personality. And then, once we get to set, I dress them keep their stuff looking proper for every scene, and that's pretty much it. PA's like uh, uh, the runaround person. It's like all the little things like the crew's too busy to do, you know, make sure everyone's got a parking spot, make sure everybody's drinking coffee, you know, just the little things that make everything work at the end of the day. Good PA, gotta be on the ball, gotta be on your walkie, listening, see what's going on. And uh, someone described it to me as, uh, it's like uh, when you're playing basketball, and you're like, gotta be ready to like assist or whatever. So it's like, you always gotta be, it'd be weird if you stood like this all day, but you have to have the attitude of standing like this, but not actually standing like that. But just ready for like, when something needs to happen. Cause it's such a fast paced set. They could need something like this second. And then if they don't have it, then they might miss a shot or something like that. So it's all about being ready for the, the time to go, you know? My background, actually started as a lighting technician. I came up through the lighting and grip department and then eventually started to shoot as a director of photography. And I, my, my most of my experience is in commercial and uh, now into more scripted work. Some challenges are sometimes wanting things that just don't exist, but then I make them. <laughs> Another thing is I think getting on the same page with the directors and writers and and kind of having their vision and your vision match for this character which I usually don't have a problem with Daniel because I worked with him for so long now I kind of get his way of thinking he knows mine so we kind of get to that quicker but that can be a challenge when in my head there's an idea and the director may have a different idea um, so it's like marrying them together so everybody's happy and uh, that's a challenge. It's always a challenge when you have a difficult actor, not that we have any on this show, but it can be a challenge when they don't like things or they're taking it too personal and not taking it as their character. Um, but yeah, and, and messy people who like to like make a mess of their clothes. <laughs> that's always fun. 
I'd be like, don't touch yourself. Like, I feel like a mom. I think wardrobe is actually part momming people. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much the biggest challenges. I mean, oh, the last day, it's so bittersweet. It's so great when you see that it all came together, that was it, it all happened the way you envisioned it. Everybody was just so amazing and it all came together and you can really see it, feel it and believe it now and now it's all done, then it's done. And you're like, I know what happens with me. I'll wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, now what? Like, it's just, you know, you, you're so, and then you just get excited to see the edits and see the show and see it all like put together. And like, yeah, it's a little sad because I'm gonna miss everybody. It's a super great cast, super great crew. And we just hope, not hope, we'll just see them in season two. So this is like, you know, we're all gonna go on a vacation from each other and come back to see each other. So. They're a great group. I did their pilot or their pitch video. And uh, so it was really nice to get an email from Shannon, their PM, asking me if they got the money. I heard that and to come back. And it's a great group of people, Daniel and Michael. I worked on another shoot of theirs. And uh, they keep an, it was Cam girlfriend. And they keep a nice, loose atmosphere, you know, like, it's, I think the director and the top, especially on a set, like in any work environment, sets the tone. So they're very focused. The material is sharp. I mean, it really is. It's, it's fun to watch. And, uh, and I think everyone wants to be a part of it. Not just, you know, here because we're scraping by to get a check or something. Like, it's really nice to be back and to be part of it. And, I feel like you never know how anything you work on is going to turn out. But I get a sense like this will be a fun, sharp series. So that's really nice. Um, it's a, a very close crew. So these people like have known each other for a long time. They worked on the same stuff. The Artcraft Zoo, which is one of the uh, producer companies behind it. They've been making music videos and stuff like that for a long time. So it's very much like everybody knows each other and uh, uh, they're all like buddy buddy and uh, yeah, it's, it's like a comedy series and it's kind of like a little bit more loose feeling series. So, you know, everybody's like more, it, it just feels like a more casual set. It's less like uh, serious or whatever. You know, everybody's more friendly and, you know, willing to experiment and, and, and do different things. So it's great. Well, coming to the last uh, day of shooting and it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience and I, I just I just hope it does really well and I hope we go for a season two. If you like this video and you want to see some more, check out one of these. Give us a like. Enjoy.